I'm calling because um, I got married about a month ago. Um, I moved into uh, my husband's, it, it's a weird situation where it's like uh, this house belonged to my husband's grandpa, but he passed away. So it got passed down to my husband's dad. And uh, so it's technically his house that he let us live here until we have enough um, save for ourselves. Oh, um, that's a and nice. I think the physics, yeah, it, it's really, really nice, actually, because this is like the first time I've lived rent free in a pretty long time. That's nice. Um, rent, but... free, rent free is very nice. Yeah. A <laughs> lot, lot more money yeah. for, um, for pizzas when you are living rent free. So what that okay now now this is a show where most people call in and they got a problem. So what's the problem with living rent free? Are you finding out it's not exactly free? No, I mean I think it's just like trying to figure out the physical boundaries of um like this house just because uh, my in-laws do come maybe two to three times a week uh for their hobbies. Uh, my father-in-law does woodworking in the garage and my mother-in-law does like glass fusing. Um, but I guess it's, I don't know, it's, it's, it's small things where it's like, you know, they'll buy. So they, like, they, the, they use the house a few times a week. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They don't just call like, that. It's actually their, their, let's call it their offices are there a few times a week, their workplace, might oh, be a hobby, but, it, but it's yeah, where they work. Yeah. Okay. I mean, cause it's, yeah, they're, they're both retired, so they kind of just have a lot of free time on their hands. Right. Um, but yeah, you know, they, yeah, like it's like they have keys to the place, obviously, because it's like their place. But I guess like we don't even get, you know, like the text about like, oh, we're on our way. So I, I always feel like it's it's awkward. And then they all like buy yeah. food um, to keep in the fridge for themselves, but they don't really come over as much. And it's like, you know, a few parts of the fridge are like half half of it's like their stuff. And oh. um, yeah, I think I'm just yeah so I'm like, they're there uh, they're there think, roughly two to three meals a week and they get half the fridge yeah okay yeah. so get, give then, me a question yeah. i think i get i think i get i think i get the scenario what's the question i think the question is like how i mean i, I guess it's like a few but it's like is do i have any right i guess to bring this up to them that it kind of bothers me when um when I live here rent free. Um or like I guess it's because like yeah they, they do use this as like a second house for them, but um just trying to understand like what I'm allowed to well, how, not even like allowed to touch. <laughs> how does your husband feel about it? He's I think he accepts Because you don't like, you, that, actually you know, they, it's it's not you don't, and, and here, yeah. here's what I say. I'm, I'm not picking on you. I'm trying to get you a, a teammate here. You say, I do mm -hmm. live here rent-free. Well, we live here rent-free, right? So it's you, yeah. we, you, you and your husband live there rent-free. And so if you're going to address this or how you're going to address this, I promise you it is going to go way better if the two of you are <laughs> on the same page. Yeah. I think so, he are you he kind of has page? like accepted. Um, I think more or less. I mean, I don't. They're definitely like we've definitely had some conflicts about things like this because it's you know it's like his parents and it's like if they so so before we got married he actually lived here on his own for a little bit just to kind of get used to living on his own. So um, he was more used to like seeing them and like they kind of got used to like a routine. Um, but I guess like now that I'm here, it's a little bit different. Um, but he's, I think he's accepted that. I'm you know, sorry. I, have... I had a mouthful of coffee when you said it's a little bit different. I, I almost lost my <laughs> no coffee. Worries. I would say it's more than a little bit different because you have converged. You're, you're experiencing the stress crack. You know, if a bridge, if a bridge has something in the, you know, in the foundation of it or, the, or a house, then it's going to have stress on it and you'll see a crack. And so, you know, mm -hmm. whose food is this? What time do you come over? That's, that's the crack. That's the symptom. What's missing mm -hmm. here or has never gotten established is the foundation of how are we 
-hmm. how are we building this new bridge? The bridge used to mm -hmm. work in a certain way mm -hmm. where one car an hour would come over. Now we got kind of a, a bigger load coming over this bridge because we don't just have one more person. And that's what I want you to hear. We don't just mm -hmm. have another person in the house. We have an entire entity now living in the house. Now, when he was there, mm -hmm. one person can dance around a couple of people that he's known his whole life and they have patterns mm -hmm. established in this and the other way easier than now mm -hmm. we have a real landlord tenant entity. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you guys are a you guys are an entity. You're a marriage. You're a family. So mm -hmm. you're going to run into stress cracks until you sit down and get the renter's agreement. Mm -hmm. What are the expectations? See, when you yeah. say, and and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to your your words. I'm not on your case at all. Just I can. This would happen. Oh no, I I, I, I don't feel that at all. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. so when you say. When you say, do I have the right even to bring this up because, you know, I'm living in their house, obviously you're going to feel that way. Gosh, you're grateful. You're getting a huge financial input here. But we don't have, in some ways, until an expectation is set, we really don't mm -hmm. have much right to bring anything up because nobody knows mm -hmm. what they're violating. Yeah, so in, in their mind, in their mind, they're judging themselves by their intentions. You're judging them by mm -hmm. their behavior, which is what humans do. In your mind, you're judging yourself by your intentions, and they're judging you by mm -hmm. your behavior. And until we get the expectations of how do we structure mm -hmm. this where, you know, we, we obviously were newlyweds, we got to have our time and then obviously you guys the way we, you know you're mm -hmm. not charging us rent so you're also you know part of our agreement is you're going to keep your hobbies here and use the house so let's just figure out why don't we figure out a schedule why don't we figure out mm -hmm. what the expectations are and we'll see if that works for everybody mm -hmm. yeah Okay. Heavy yeah. Sigh. Okay. Yeah. I'm I think I just. I'm getting a heavy <laughs> sigh on the other end. Yeah. No. Did I, I just, think it's just. Did I just like... hand you a burden oh, that no, seems no, no. too big? No. No. I. I think it's. I definitely think it's like a step in the right direction. Um, I was talking about it with my cousin yesterday, and she was like, "You seem like you have like a really big fear of in-laws, just because like of how our family turned out." Because like, I still get. Um, like phone calls or like text about like my aunt ranting about her mother-in-law and like my mom had a lot of issues with like my dad's mom but I know like my yeah. in-laws are different and they're more willing to listen but I'm just like oof like I don't want to get off on the wrong foot because we just got married well but that's I why I said yeah that's why I said I don't think the first conversation is with your in-laws I think the first one's with your husband mm -hmm. and you know yeah. there is a um so do you do you guys ever read the Bible? Uh, we do. Um, I, well, actually, do. I'll be honest, like, not in a while, because we were in, like, a young adult group, um, and we was, there was, like, a book of the, you know, like, like a book we were going over, like a, yeah. like a Tim Keller but book you, or something. A what but book? Now, yeah, we haven't done it in a Like a Tim Keller, okay, but, or like, okay. you know, like, but, but like you're, not, you're, not the Bible you're, itself. But, yeah. You're people of faith, would you say that? Okay. I mean, it doesn't matter in some ways. It doesn't matter if I believe in physics or not, gravity still works. And so, you know, um, mm -hmm. any, any good systems theory like Bowen or somebody, if you go to the science side of it, you're going to read this, this same thing. But, but I love the way the Bible puts it, the way God mm -hmm. set it up in Genesis. He said that a man will leave his mother and father and cleave to his wife. Which means mm -hmm. it doesn't mean we don't have relationships with them, but it does mean mm -hmm. that the primary attachment and the number one entity that we are mm -hmm. cleaving to is mm -hmm. our spouse, 
And in order to do that, you've got to unplug the primary, you know, source of life and loyalties and, you know, uh, you honor them, but you don't obey them, right? You're, you're a new entity, a self-governing entity. So I think you guys have to sit down and figure out, mm -hmm. you know, we left and became married. We're a new couple. This is our family. We've chosen to have our family in this mm -hmm. contractual arrangement with your parents. Mm -hmm. So yeah. what are we, how much are we willing to pay for that? Yeah. Because remember, I, I said earlier, this isn't free. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're getting, yeah. you're not paying rent, but you're paying access into your home that renters don't do. Mm -hmm. Renters pay money. Yeah. Instead of money, you pay access. Okay. You give, mm -hmm. you know, there's other things. And so that's fine. This is a great arrangement. I hope you can work this out. But what are the expectations and, and what do we need to, to negotiate? And say so we love having mm -hmm. y'all here. We love it that you come to your 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 hobbies. We would love to keep some of your food, but we need to know what the expectations are, and like how much mm -hmm. warning we would like, or maybe it's certain days. There's no right or wrong. You yeah. just because guys have got to got to get the expectations down. Yeah, yeah. I think that would right. be good. I think I yeah. I think that makes sense. Or like it, it's like a. We both have to do our end of it too. Like I feel like, I think the last thing I want to hear from them is like, "Well, we let you live in this house, and like, you know, it's still our house and stuff." So, but I think, well, being well, able to address, yeah. Well, okay, but I'm gonna tell you something. You're okay. already, you're already hearing them say that in your head, and that's why you're mm -hmm. afraid. Don't feel like you can bring this or that up because that's the contract mm. you're working under now. It is an unspoken, vague, confusing set of expectations. Mm -hmm. So you're, mm -hmm. you will be under that reality. Okay. And mm -hmm. in the negotiation, they've already said that. This is just fact. This isn't mm -hmm. bad. They've already said you're living in our house <laughs> rent free. Therefore, we want to be able to do our hobbies there. Okay. That's part of the deal. We just need to define what that is. And it, and it mm -hmm. may be, it may be that you say, if you went too far, any deal has no, I can't pay that much. If they say mm -hmm. they want to drop in 24 seven, no warning, have, you know, leave out. You may say that's too much for us. And they say, but we're letting you live rent free. You go, well, mm -hmm. I know, but we'd probably rather have to pay rent somewhere and take a little longer to save our money if we can't have that kind of privacy. There's no bad guy in this. Mm. Uh-huh. It's just not worth it. Mm -hmm. All right. I got to get some other callers. Could you bring up a, I'm so glad you called. I, I want to hear back from you because so many people, they uh -huh. might not be newlyweds. They not, might not be mm -hmm. newlyweds, but they're in arrangements with their in-laws. Where I mean, let's mm -hmm. face it, in laws are further down the road. You know, when you when you're newly married and all that, you're, you know, in laws been at this longer. They got more equity usually. They have more money. A lot of them want to help out. How do they help out? What's mm -hmm. what do you have to give in return for that? What are the expectations? Mm -hmm. I love it when the expectations are clear. Mm -hmm. And there's no right answer. Yeah. But but there is yeah. a right answer. Yeah, I'll definitely talk to. That we know the yeah. answer. But I mean, if I was to get, <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Um, if I was to give you an update, would I send an email? Call me back. I'd love for everybody to hear the update. Oh. Oh, okay. And rem That's great, remind then. Albie. Remind Albie. I'm calling back with an update. Okay. By the Sounds way. Good. By the way. <laughs> and you don't uh -huh. have to say this. Okay. You can hit. No, I don't feel comfortable saying that. But. If you weren't living there, how much would you be paying in rent somewhere to get what you need? Ooh, yeah, I, honestly, I, I guess it depends on like the city because like we're both working from home right now, so we could literally live like anywhere. Um, okay. But I'm gonna guess like twenty five hundred dollars a month. Twenty five hundred dollars a month, uh, pretty much after tax, right? So it's really, mm -hmm. 
whatever tax bracket you're in, add it on top of that. Okay. So mm-hmm. let's put that in your head. How much privacy am I willing to give up for $40,000 a year? Pre-tax. Mm. Just a question. Yeah. That, mm-hmm. Yeah. That's definitely something to think about. I don't think I have it like a, a response off the top of my head right now. I'm not asking you to. I, I, I'm just, I'm going to give you one question. Another thing is, okay. what about yeah. my psychological pennies? How much, mm. how much marriage, you know, how much, how many germs are getting into our marriage with not having mm-hmm. enough space to have, and I don't mean that they're bad people. I just mean a marriage has got to have its own space, even from kids, mm-hmm. you know? So mm-hmm. yeah, how much of that are we willing to give up and a bunch of other stuff? Okay. I got to run, but call me back. Mm-hmm. Okay. And yeah. Thank, definitely. Thank you so much, Dr. Cloud. Congratulations on your new marriage. And tell your husband, congratulations on picking a great one. All right. Thank you for your call. 